everyone! How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to paint on a 10 by 10 inch canvas and I'm going to use some pigment powders I got from Color Art and I believe it's their Firefly collection. I can't remember the name but I will post the description, um, the link in the description so you guys can see the kit that I bought and it's a pretty cool kit. It came with a bunch of colors and let me grab the colors real quick. I put them in this box, but it came with these colors, and they're all iridescent, shimmery, and they have amazing names like Firefly, and Pixie Dust, and Sweet Pea, and Sea Goddess. It's really cool, so I'm really excited to use it. So the colors I'm going to use today um, is the Firefly, the Shy Rose, Mermaid Scales, and Hydrangea. And what I did is I got my tablespoon. I did one tablespoon of the Joshana, jo so so Josonia. I butchered that name. Josonia glass varnish. I brought this a year ago for um, another project and I never really used it. So I'm excited to use it in this to see how it turns out. I'll post that link too. So I did one tablespoon of the Josonia varnish to one tablespoon of the Vivid Enamel Tintable Paint Base. This came in the kit that I got. And I also got these adorable little spoons in the kit. Um, so I mixed up my pouring medium and then I put three-fourths of this spoon in of the pigment in there and mixed it all up. And these colors are really neat and it mixes up thick so as I pull it up and drop it, it sits on the surface and then falls. And for what I'm doing today, that is going to be just perfect. Because I got this travel hair dryer. So adorable. Cute little travel. Um, and I wanted to try it out for a Dutch pour. Because my big hair dryer blows paint everywhere. So I'm hoping this doesn't blow as much paint everywhere. Um, but we'll see. So let me put these over here. And I'm going, whoop, this is pouring medium. I need to get white. I'm going to get some white paint. White paint. And I'm going to do kind of a 50-50 a black and white. Pour. So what I'll do, I'll speed up the video for this part because it is going to take me a few minutes to get the canvas covered. Okay, so now I see some air bubbles. Let me get my torch. Let's just eliminate the air bubbles now. I'm sure I'll get a gazillion more in a little bit here, but. Okay. So now what I want to do, I'm just going to start pouring my colors as a puddle pour. And I just mixed these colors a half hour ago. I did read that we should probably let these sit overnight. So I think I'll do that with my next one. But I'm so super excited to use them now that I think We'll just use it now. Experiment and see what happens, right? And I haven't done this technique yet, so I'm not sure how much paint is too much paint. 
so we are just going to have fun with it. See what happens. And next time I will um, be mixing these paints in plastic containers, not these paper, because with that uh, gloss varnish, it's water-based. And I didn't think that through properly, and all these um, paper are getting mushy real quick. So here I'm just going to add a little more color, and then we're going to do the thing and see what happens. Okay, so I do have some more color in just a tad bit, in case we need it. I would like to put just a little more white here, and that's okay. That's going to dissipate with the paint. And I'm just going to put a little more color here. Because the idea of a Dutch pour is you take the thicker colors on the outside and you blow them on top to overlap, and then you blow the color out. So well, let's see if I did that right. So this has um, um, high, off, and low, but it has a cool setting. So I'm going to have it on low, I'm going to put it on cool, and it's probably going to be too loud for me to talk. So. Let's just see what happens. Oh, that's not so bad. Just waiting for it to cool down. Okay, there it is. Pouring more paint on there. Try the high. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So that did lose a lot of my color, but it is really cool looking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go like this. Huh. I did not use a, a cell activator or silicone, but air, I find, it's a natural cell activator. So as we are blowing this painting and paint around, um, cells are popping up, which I am very happy to say I did not get paint all over the place. So that's very happy. I love my little hair dryer. I'm going to be practicing this technique more because um, I think I use too much black. I find everything gets washed out with black. So let me try this now. I'm going to put it on high because the low wasn't um, strong enough.
cool. I love it. I did use way too much paint once again because that's, you know, you know me, that's what I do. Um, but that's okay. And I think this is a really cool piece. I love all the feathering. I'm going to see a bunch of the cells be popping up when it dries. And my air conditioning works now. I'm so happy. My air conditioning has not worked in over a month. Um, we had to order a part. Part got delayed because of the current um, situation with the world. So I was painting and anything over 75 degrees in that type of environment, the paintings crack and craze. And I had some horrible crazing. So um, now it's normal like 76, 75 degrees in my house. I'm so happy. So I'm real excited to start painting again. This is going to dry without any cracks in it. Um, I do suspect cells. Ooh, this over here is very iridescent. Oh, it's sparkling when you look at it from an angle because I'm looking at it from this, this direction. So when this dries, I will definitely take some photos and hopefully I can capture that for you. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. We'll definitely be doing more of these. And we will see you later. Bye.